here's the Python code coming up. Python image converter. From pill, import image, import OS, multiprocessing, import pool, import time. With this, um, most of the time with multiprocessing, you can use very similar syntax to if you're using multi threading. Um, the first function we want to write, we want to process the image. And then that process image we'll use inside process directory. We'll iterate over all of the images. Um, single process, that's just what I've written to compare. Um, so you don't need that. That's just what I've used so that I can benchmark how much quicker it is with multiprocessing. So this is the code to process the image. And we're using um, with image.open. So it, that's the image. So we're saying with image.open, using the open method on the input path, which we'll pass in as a argument as image. That's just the name of our variable. And then we say RGB image equals image.convert to RGB, because it could be RGBA or grayscale or something like that. Yeah, you could actually convert from grayscale to RGB. Um, resize the image 224 by 224. That's quite a common size. Um, and we're going to be using image dot by linear. I've put some descriptions on my article here and why use by linear. Um, Basically, it's a good balance between computational efficiency and image quality. Um, there's more stuff there about it, but I think that's, that's all we need to know for now. Um, so it uses the, the four nearest pixel values to estimate a new pixel value. The output path is yeah, os.path.join output directory with os path base name input path um that's just how it is <laughs> that's that's the full out that's the full path of the file that you want to save to resized image dot save so resized image is your 224 by linear and then you want to save that to the output path that we've just created. So that's effectively, um, it's like using a buffer, you're writing to the buffer, writing to the file, and then format JPEG. So the kind of overall flow of this program would be quite similar if you were converting from, for instance, JPEG to PNG. Um, Let's look at the next. So that's converting one image. Now we want to convert multiple images. And um, process directory takes the input directory. The output directory is arguments. OS make does output dir exist OK true. So we want to actually make the directory if it doesn't exist. The output directory. And here. There's a long list comprehension here. So it's got the square brackets. Um, OS path.join input directory with F. So that's like your iterator for F in lister. So everything in that directory, the input directory, um, if it's a file, then join the file name to the file path. And that's your file name on each iteration. And then with pool, this is the kind of uh, this this is the new bit that you won't have come across if you haven't used multiprocessing before. With pool as pool, there's like context. And then you do pool star map. Now there will be examples where you will see map. Star map actually gives you the ability to pass in something that takes more than one argument, which is here 
So we're using star map because we're passing in um, the process image. And um, we're passing in file name and the output directory, file and files. So files is this, which is the, um, the path name plus the file name. Going to iterate over all of those and then got file and the output directory. A file is kind of the name of the iterator, the individual element, and then the output directory is what we've passed in and into the function. So the star map function is used to parallelize the execution of a function over a list of argument tuples. It's similar to the map function, but allows the function to accept multiple arguments which are provided as tuples. So this is the actual, sorry, I think I must said earlier, this is the tuple. So you've got the comma there. So you've got the process image and then you've got this, which is the other part of the tuple. Um, single process. That's just if you're using um, non multiprocessing. So I think I've set it to use process directory. Yeah, so this doesn't run. So you can actually, we could actually remove this if we wanted to or comment it out. It won't make, any, it make a slight bit of difference. And then just in main input directory, output directory, uh, start time, that's just for benchmarking. Process directory, so a single that shouldn't be there because it's not. We're using process directory, which is the multi processing version. Stop the timer, and print the elapsed time. So if we run this code, it should process all of the images, uh, run all cells, completed in 0 0.7 seconds. And that has processed, um, let me see if I can find them. Output images and 603 items. If I delete output images, run the code again, run all cells, 0 0.6 seconds this time. And let's go in here. So you saw that we deleted them and then they're all back again. And they are RGB. And uh, let's actually just verify that. Don't trust verify. So we do file. Let's pass in a file here. This is a JPEG. And we can see it's 224 by 224. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. So that is how to use multiprocessing. There's a lot more to it than obviously what I've got here. Um, with multiprocessing, it can be faster than using multi-threading. So with multiprocessing, it's where your work or your, your program is um, processor bound, CPU bound. And with multi-threading, it's where it's kind of I/O bound, and it's all to do with sort of how the kernel and the operating system and the CPU perform. Um, so multi-threading involves multiple threads with a single process. Um, this was actually written without consideration of Python's uh, new way that the GIL works, the global interpreter lock works in Python, but uh, this was actually using, I think I used Python 3.12 for this example. Um, multiprocessing class creates separate classes, not threads. So it's leveraging multiprocessing rather than multi-threading. This is particularly advantageous for CPU band tasks where parallelism can lead to significant performance improvements. So this is actually parallel processing rather than concurrent. So um, Threads are concurrent, multiprocessing is parallel. If you're new to all this, or if you're coming from a different background, I've also done a Rust example here. Um, 
I know it's a bit controversial. Some people like Rust, some people don't. But the examples here, and you can see the same sort of um, program flow as well. Um, image dot convert using an image reader, image uh, image crate, which is the same as the module in Python. Resizing it to the same size. RG, um, we specified RGB here somewhere as well. That's uh, yeah, RGB eight. So the article's here, and uh, yeah, once you've kind of converted, you can do all sorts of clever stuff. This was um, not actually using one of the small images, but um, this was using YOLO object detection. So yeah, if you're interested in image processing, computer vision, and so on, um, yeah, before you get to doing all the cool stuff, you will need to do the image processing, or you may, depending on your data set. And this is the data set from Kaggle. And the link is on my article. And then you can see you've got all these sorts of different data sets where you've got body parts, flowers, uh, COVID, shapes, aeroplanes chest x-rays and so on so um yeah thanks for watching hopefully this has just given you a little bit of an insight into how to speed up image processing uh for your project and it's not that complicated other than um yeah the worst bit was actually uh doing the os file paths and star map so star map was just um something that you may or may not want to be doing but you can pass a tuple if you star map so you can pass um, process image so that's a function name by the way so that process image but it's a function name without the parentheses on the end yeah there we go so peel you have to install pip install pillow pip install multiprocessing all very nice and straightforward really so um yeah and then just um you've got the options of rgb is an option bilinear is an option and obviously jpeg is an option so feel free to experiment resize to whatever size you want and um yeah the speed is, is great so 0 0.6 seconds to do 600 images there we go thanks for watching back soon subscribe thumbs up comment and all that stuff as well please because helps with the algorithm apparently cheers